Hello, 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 and welcome. So, I see this thing here called Hands on Demo. And I don't know if this is a standalone thing or if I've seen it before or what it is. By the way, hi, David Bradley in the TV room. How are you doing? I'm tinkering on the 64 that was part of the bunch of stuff that I got. I thought I'd found all the computers, but obviously I had not because this one was hidden in a big monitor box with a monitor and a printer and a disk drive and power supplies. I haven't even tested the disk drives yet. Anyway, I've been going through things, stuff, things. Uh oh. Oh dear. That's not good. Perhaps there's an error. <gasps> David Verzowski. I knew him. Well, sadly, because it didn't load. I'm suspecting it didn't load. David Verzowski was a funny guy. He had corkscrew hair. Funny man. Yep, it ran out of well, let's open 15, comma, 8, comma, 15, comma, I, 0, quote, colon, close, 15. And that comes up fine. Well, we'll try and run it. It won't. Yeah, out of memory in 20. Yeah. Uh-oh, now it's done something weird. Out of memory, hands-on 64.4. Written by Dave Berezowski. Edited by Dave Gitz. Commodore Candle, October 83. Wow. Pope 578, comma 52. Rem, stop disable key. 49 for enable. See, these are things. This is what we used to do. We used to go and look at other people's programs and dissect them and say, yo, what's that do? And I must say, but until this moment, I I didn't know that Pope did that. And I've been around a while. Mind you, I never went looking for it either. All right, I'm going to try to pop the disk out and pop the disk in, reset things, and load... The hands-on demo again and see if it works. And of course, it won't. It will not. But you know what? I'm going to list that. See, that is also a beautiful thing about remark statements. If that was, if the remark R E M, but you can spell out remark if you like, but R E M does it. Um. Disable. Yeah. Run. Stop. Poke. All right. It stopped. There's an error. Poke. Seven, eight, eight, comma, fifty, two. Restore. Oh. Stop key disable. Run stop and restore to say, oh, look at that. Forty nine. Enable. Okay, poke. Seven ninety two, comma. One ninety three seventy one enable. Cool, 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 cool. But I'm afraid it doesn't work. So if I type in run, it's gonna not run out of memory. Run 20. Oh dear. 
That's too bad. But to see, that is a handy thing to know. 53280,0. And one in white. All right. I'm going to put in a program. 10. Print, quote, world of Commodore, space, quote, oops, semicolon, colon. Okay, in line five, I'm going to put poke 788, comma, 52, colon. 192,193. So that's just done. And I guess in one we'll clear the screen because that's polite. And then in 20, we'll say go to 10. So what this should do now is I should be able to do my usual World of Commodore thing. Run stop key will not stop it and typically if you do the run stop restore it'll pop out of a program no i can't do it i have never known this before oh magic thank you david berzowski thank you for your, for your rem statement that's beautiful so you can set this up ah i just popped off the restore key oh dear how exciting Oh, this too. Oh, this keyboard has funky things. It doesn't have the the, the things. The um... oh, come on, get back on there. Okay, it's back on. It doesn't have the little cross things. So there, do this, and it's done. Until somebody turns it off. So let us. Let us remind ourselves of what we learned today. There we are. Oh, I should write underneath. Disable. Run. Stop. Restore. There it is. It's magic. As I say, that's what we used to do. You'd go into other people's programs, look at what they did, and say, yo, look at that. What's that do? How does that work? But if they had a remark statement, it was helpful. And I guess this, obviously, I mean, it was meant to help people. I, I mean, it's supposed to be a demo, but also to help people. And um, obviously... RAM was not an issue. They had enough RAM to do that. Because really, if they were trying to do an incredible demo and throw it off to Jack Tramiel and they needed more memory, they'd say, right, get rid of those RAM statements. We need more memory. We need to make this dance. It's funny, I once visited David Berezowski at Commodore and he showed me a game he was working on for the 64. And I don't remember what it was. I don't. But it was supposedly like an arcade game that he had been doing. And uh, I'll, have to, I'll have to look through games and see if I can figure out what it was. Oh, those were the days of going to Pharmacy Avenue and going into the thing. And mind you, I wasn't there much. I was not. Anyway, well, that was fun. And now I can't stop it. I can't stop it. Isn't that lovely? And that is exactly what you would want in a computer store demonstration. You don't want some kid going on, hey, how are you doing? Yeah, let's format the hard drive. Yeah, let's format the disk. Let's wipe it out. Because, of course, kids did that. Not that I would ever do that. No, 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 no. Well, maybe the Radio Shack store. Maybe. Possibly. Oh, uh, yes. All right. Well, that's looking around for my other phone. Oh, yeah. That's enough for now.
I know I have more things to test, more things to do. Oh, and this phone could be dead by now. I'm not sure. No, it's not dead. But it's dying, dying, dying. So I think I'll move it. And we'll see what else we can get into. So thanks for coming to the world of Commodore here in the TV room. David Bradley, I'm your host. Bye for now.